Boy, I sure hope you can see this background. Kind of can't see myself on this monitor. There is no monitor. But thank you, Nikon, for giving me these cameras to play with anyway. So what is up, you guys? Welcome back. You bring me up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. Today, we are packing orders. I'm packing orders for some of you out there. Who ordered all that stuff? Now, thank you so much for the store support. And, you know, I was thinking about this, right? So we've been running the store for a couple of years. So I figured I might do this little fun video. So it's kind of your store update and top five things I love and hate about running a web store. Well, hate is kind of a vicious word. It's just things I don't like. Ah, now I can relax a little bit. Packages have gone out. More people are coming to pick up boxes. You might hear the doorbell ring. So without further ado, let's do this top five thing that I love and hate about running a web store. I'm gonna look at some things that have come in. And yeah, let's do this, right? Number five. The thing I love about running pickmeupscotty.com is loyal customers. That is right, for the guys that have been hanging out since the very beginning of time of this channel when it started, who encouraged me to open my own brick store. They're super loyal and there's a lot of you that have just been coming on recently and have been buying from us and love the experience. And for that, that is something I really am happy about. And sometimes you guys gift me, like Tyler. He's been gifting me a lot. Thank you, Tyler. He actually gifted me this, look at this. Look, I've never seen this brand before. It's $1. It looks like it's $1, my man. I'll just open this right now. Let's build some of these. These are really, really small. This is 35 pieces from the $1 Rama. It's actually printed on there, it's printed. And it just says 35 pieces. Don't even say what it is. I love these kind of unknown brands I've never seen before. There's the manual for it. Very small, let's build this really fast. Can't argue too much, this is only a dollar. Brick feels a little bit lighter, it feels like Sluban. 35 pieces. I wish all builds were just this amount, then I can save time and do more reviews for you guys. Well, that was super fast and just like as advertised, actually came out the same way. You look at the, the figure here, that's actually pretty funny. Hey, printing actually looks pretty okay on this guy. His face is kind of plain, simple. Not bad, not bad for a dollar. What is this? Drill machine. Hey, Tyler might actually like this. My Tyler, not you, Tyler. My son, same name. Okay, I'm gonna bring this home for him. Let's continue. Now let's see what I hate about this store. Rude emails. Yes, I don't want to emphasize on rude emails. It does happen quite a lot, so I should talk about it. And that's just one of the things I don't like about running the web store because I get to read all your emails that when you guys buy from us. By the way, this is another one from Tyler. All these are from Tyler so far. Let's build this while I talk about rude emails. This is from Montoy. M-O-N, they put the manual on the back. This is a three-in-one. It's got like a robot and helicopter plane looking thing and a turret. Let's just open the sucker up. But yeah, you know, we're a very small store. So thank you for buying on our store. But there are once in a while like these rude emails. It might be a communication thing too. Like sometimes maybe your English is not the main language and it's okay. But there are some that are like very rude. They want to know like what's the update like right now? Gotta be patient, just be patient. We're helping you trying to get these sets to you and we are not a big store. We are not an Amazon. Amazon is a billion dollar industry thing. We're just literally two guys, well actually maybe like four guys now that we have suppliers in China helping you find sets for us. And we got one guy in Korea helping you find Oxford Block and the official distributors here for like Royal Toys and Oxford Hong Kong as well. There are a lot of people helping us out. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, one bad email can like ruin our day and it really sucks. And we're really trying our best to do all these things. So let's build this thing real quick too. Number one, they combine so many things in one step. You gotta kind of just go, Whoop. Now you guys are welcome to gift me too. Thank you so much for gifting us always. I put addresses in the description. I have family in LA in the States. If you're there, if it's easier to send for you there, or you can send to my office here in Hong Kong. I love getting gifts from you guys but don't go out of your way to do it. Just watching my videos and supporting the channel is already quite amazing to me. And if you buy from us too. Oh, it's broken. Here's the Montoy number K711 with my broken arm just like melted this piece so I can't get it on here. It's like, oh. Yeah, it looks really weird, but thank you, Tyler, for introducing me to Montoy. Montoy, this is my first video review. If you've got more sets you want to send to me, hopefully they're a little bit better than this. 
then it'll be okay. Unfortunately, the other two sets that you see here, you gotta just figure out how to build them yourself because there is no manual on the inside. So thank you, Tyler. I'll put this here. I do like how they put the walkie-talkie mounted like into the brick. That's funny. Brick quality feels actually okay, except for the melted piece. That's cool, it's like a little turret gun thing there. I'm not sure what to do with this one. We'll put that there. But yeah, so rude emails, you know, just chill. We're trying our best to help you guys out. And most of you have gotten all your sets, which is really good. And let's look at number four. What I love about it, satisfaction. When you guys get your sets, you guys email us and you're so happy that you get your sets. And some of you have emailed us before. We're like a little bit unhappy, but then when you got your sets, you're like super happy. So that makes me happy. If you're happy, I'm happy. Especially in these times right now with the whole coronavirus, which is really affecting our industry, which everybody, I'm talking about everyone, all right? And that's gonna be later down the list. I'm looking, I've written, I've written down my list. Actually, my hate is like more than 10, but you know, we'll, we'll keep it to five. But this is also from Tyler, Minions. So Lego has officially released new Le Lego Minion sets. Are they out already? I don't think I've seen reviews on anyone yet, or maybe they're not out yet. But anyway, this one is from Mega Blocks. Oh, I know Mega Blocks actually makes some pretty good stuff, right? So maybe I'll look into some of their sets later. Uh, but they're, I think they're mostly based in the States, if I'm not mistaken. Universal, looks like it. I don't think their factories are in China. Unless someone gives me a heads up where to find Mega Blocks in China, then maybe we can sell them too. But here we go. This should be a very small build. I hear the bricks. My first Mega Block build. So this is the minion. There's no like. Oh, Scooter Escape, Scooter Escape Minion. I have not seen a Minion cartoon. I know I'm really bad. Again, I'm waiting for Tyler to grow up, my son Tyler, to grow up so we can watch it together. But actually pretty cool, I like this. Well, definitely not a Lego brick figure. The figure in itself looks pretty good. Actually has like mounts there. I wonder if you can mount to a regular stud here. There's a Lego brick and let's see if this mounts onto here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. so they can mount onto a Lego stud. All right, let's look at the scooter. So this is official then, they have the licensing to do that. I wonder if they're gonna panic now, be like, oh no, Lego's doing minions. We, we're not gonna sell as much anymore now. Let's build this thing, got a scooter wheel. Nice prints right there, man. Looks like I'm making a little weapon. Oh, it's a bullet, that's what it is. Okay, let's see if I can fire it at the camera. Ooh, right there, okay. Oh, nice, more prints here. This looks like a toilet seat. Subway, nice print right there. Is this compatible with Lego? Oh, Mega Blocks. The gun right there, shoot it, and you can shoot the sign, it'll knock down. I don't know if it'll really knock down. Try it one more time. No, it didn't knock down the sign, but that's the idea. And he rides this little scooter there. How's he gonna fit on this thing? Doesn't really fit there. But I'm sure you can put like a standard minifigure. If you're looking at this, you know what video's coming up next. Big like that, looks really weird like that. There you go. And you got a banana right here. Nice banana in pajamas are coming into town. Yeah, he'd rather eat the banana, right? There you go. So Tyler, thank you for that. Very cool indeed. So satisfaction, people getting their packages. I'm super, super happy. And I love gifting you guys. If we send out packages here from Hong Kong, I do fill in little gifts here and there. And we're always buying more gifts just for fun. I mean, this is just like a bonus. You get your sets, but you're getting a little bit more from me. And I write your cards out as well. My writing absolutely sucks. And you know, I've actually, a lot of you have been asking about a giveaway. I'm gonna do giveaways again once the virus calms down and shipping becomes normal again. But there's actually one card that I have written. I don't know who has it. Someone out there has it. If you have a card that's your winner, I gave instructions to email me and show me the picture of the card. That way I can send you your gift. So there's one giveaway. If you ordered from us and you got the card, someone's got a free gift. No one's claimed it yet. Unless our supplier just like threw that card away. So it's somewhere out there. What I don't like, a lot of you ask for cheap shipping and cheaper discount, or if, you, if I buy X amount of sets, can you do me a better deal? Sometimes, 
we can help a little bit. It's just depends on the way we actually pack your orders. That's one thing that makes us a little bit more personalized. And for me, it's more about customer service. We're just trying our best to do it. Sometimes we can't, but we are. And I know statistically one country in the whole world that are super cheap. I'm not going to call you guys out. I still love you guys. You're not going to know who it is anyway. But boy, man, you guys are trying to save every dollar. And it comes down to like one area. It's like whatever they can maximize or get, they're going to try to get the best deal they can. We're trying. And just like I said, if you want to buy a set and you see it cheaper somewhere else, you can always let us know. That's fine. But for sure, just go and get it if you can. You know, people are like, oh, eBay is like way cheaper than you. Plus, I can get it with shipping. Like, why are you guys so expensive? Like, we're trying our best. We don't control the shipping. Shipping is like completely a different ball ballpark, especially right now with the virus. And, you know, I'll tell you more about that down the list. That's something I don't like. Now let's go to number three. Am I going on order here? Five, four, three. Okay, three, number three. What do I love about this? New sets, yay. We got tons and tons of new sets. And I get to see what's coming out before you guys do. You guys always let me know what's happening too. Sometimes I don't really mention about it or talk about it because we're still going through a lot of inventory, but you know, stuff like this. And I do have to make a correction. Thank you so much to subscriber Graf for letting me know. The last one that I showed you is not a temple. It's actually the Wuhan University. I don't know these things, man. They just send me a picture and be like, upload this, put this on your store. And I'm like, I'm just guessing half the time. There's no description, but this is also part of the Cherry Blossom series. That's very, very, very popular right now on the store. I have not built this. This is mine. This is a sample. And this is 601076. And apparently the other one, they, other people have been putting it back to back with the other sets. So you have this really beautiful looking gate. And you know, I'll, I'll build this soon. I'm so behind on my builds right now. At least you can see what this box looks like. Beautiful looking box. And I'll open it for you guys. It's all good. If you find this cheaper elsewhere, go for it. What I can tell you if you buy from us is you're paying for service. Oh. Here we go. There. Box could be really small. That's why we don't ship with boxes. We now we shape it down to make it fit for you. Boxes are actually pretty expensive. So that's another thing. Everyone's like, I want the original box. Oh, it's like, it's like an extra 20 bucks US for a box. You really want the box? And everyone's like, oh no, why is it so expensive? That's the way it is, man. So anyway, there's some figures here. They're kind of in the bag, right there, in the baggie. Oh, look at that one, she looks so pretty. So they're trying to be Japanese, but apparently in the Wuhan University, they do have cherry blossoms. Thank you again, Graf Odlin, for letting me know. So here is the booklet. I've read reviews, some of you saying that the tree is a little bit complex to put together or build together, but I'll try it out. I'll let you know what I think because I'm a professional, man. I'm just kidding. So that kind of stuff is always cool, seeing new sets coming in and seeing if they're available. And that's the one thing I don't like is when these things will be available. A lot of these sets are like vaporware. Like put it up on the screen and you can find them on sites and be like, ah, they're gonna have this thing. And then last minute it'll be like, oh no, it's not gonna come out or it never does come out. But sometimes, most of the time they're doing a little bit better. But there's stuff like this that I've never seen before. And this also always gets me excited. So I have the dinosaur museum from Lego already, the fossil set. I will review those pretty soon. And then I saw this, I'm like, oh look, Lego actually doesn't make these. So on the back here, look at that. These are ones that Lego does not make. So if you're a dinosaur fan or if you love the Lego dinosaur sets, these are interesting to see. I haven't tried them myself, so I don't know if they are any good or not. It's from a brand called Linus. By the time this video is up, it should be on the store available on brickmeupscotty.com. So seeing this stuff makes me really happy. I'm like, yeah, cool, new sets. Finally, we can get them on the store. But you know, I have to weigh these things. We have to check inventory, which comes to the bad thing about these sets. And that is, wait, we are still on number three, right? Okay, this is the bad thing. I'm getting mixed up right now. Unavailable or discontinued sets, which is happening a lot more. So a lot of reviews that I have done before, uh, let's take a good example, like Zing Bells, uh, the Adventure Series, you know, the, the treasure, those ones were so fun. Someone was asking, is it, why is it not available? They just took it off, man. It's like not available anymore. It might come out again. So sometimes the sets might be discontinued. They just cut it off and be like, that's it. Or sometimes they just get out of stock and you just have to find them in places that do have them. And they may become available later on down the line. This might be the next discontinued one, but that's so funny. They put like 
There's prints, printed tiles right there, but they couldn't put the us. So it had to be stegosaurs. Stegosaurs. But these looks like legit bags and the pieces look pretty okay. So I'll review this later. You know, I got a couple of them. I didn't buy them all because, you know, I want to just buy the ones that I like and just see how the bricks are. Or should I just build? No, you know what? Fine. Let's just build it right now. And one thing I noticed too is like a lot of new brands that are up and coming are coming, bricks are being sourced from kind of the same factory. So it's like you see a similar bag, then you kind of know where they're from. But this brand, Lean Linus, Linus, what kind of a name is that? I wash my hands after all this. Most importantly is, Lego doesn't have this yet. They need to make more dinosaurs. You think they're gonna make more, they're just gonna stop and be like, mm, no, we're not gonna do any more, man. Then at least you have this for now. Until they come out with a new one, then I will probably get those myself. Tyler, my son, by the way, is totally into dinosaurs. So it's one of the reasons why I got a couple of these. I wanted to see what it's like, and I wanted to get the ones that he likes. So he loves the Stegosaurus. Done. Took longer than I expected. Okay, so it's a little bit fragile. This is one where you just let everything fall off as you're building it. When you're done, go back in there and put everything back on and slide things around and put, apply pressure and it'll be okay. But as you're building it, I noticed that when you're applying a lot of pressure, things seem to fall off here and there. I'm not sure this is like a spare piece somewhere. The good thing is unlike the Lego one, you can totally pose this one so you can come off the stand. The Lego ones you can't, which is, I was actually really bummed about. I'm like, oh, they build the legs into the stand. This one you can kind of go like, oh, okay, I can stand like this, or because it's an unknown brand, it can fall apart pretty easily. The ribs actually are a little bit loose. I can kind of pry them up here. Now I have to figure out how to get this thing back on the stand without this whole thing trying to fall apart. Yeah, I think I rushed through this too. I should have like adjusted the poles a little bit better here. So I give it more room. I think once you give it more room on certain places will hold better than others. It's a lot smaller than the Lego one. I wish it was a little bit bigger. But there you go, from Linus, available. Now, I'm breaking up Scotty.com. If that's your thing, fragile, be gentle with it. I'm already lost where I'm at. So yeah, cool new sets like this too from Royal Toys. This is the Dai Pai Dong or otherwise the local restaurant eatery. We have one right down the street over there. I will not build this one now. I'm thinking of having another guest come on here and build this with me. But Royal Toys is pumping them out. So this should be also available on BreakMeUpScotty.com. Not a lot of pieces. How many pieces? 262 pieces. So if you know Royal Toys, and a lot of you have been buying from me. Thank you so much for buying this brand, supporting them. They are from Hong Kong. And there you go. Dai Pai Dong, street stall, more food. Food, food, always got to have some food. All right. Two, the second thing I love about running the store the loving, encouraging messages I get from all you guys that spread across all my social media. So you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I check most of those things. I should update it. You know, I'm gonna start posting more on Instagram. I'm sorry, there's been a lot of builds. I've just been so busy trying to get videos out and taking care of my kids. But I'll try to post some 
daily picks for you guys and if you guys have really cool mocks or designs let me know please send them to me i've been seeing some of them pop up i want to share them in my videos with you guys so you can see who is creating what using alternative big brands there's no shame in mixing these brands together is there probably but anyway that's one thing i love is seeing encouraging messages people that love the channel and sending them to me and letting me know to keep going and seeing kids really happy watching the channel i try to control my my cussing and all that kind of stuff but i'm really happy with that so thank you so much now what i don't like about running this web store is the inventory my goodness how to keep up with the inventory man like getting the sets on the store poor ida has to do all the help too she has to make sure the weight is right the pricing is right and what else prices constantly changing on us suddenly other sites are going cheaper more expensive and some brands we have to keep in control and we have to follow their rules of keeping the price the same we can't lower things and make things higher and once in a while we try to adjust to the market that's a big challenge in itself is inventory my goodness sorting things out there's millions of brands out there there's so many things that we need to update in inventory we need like a full team to do it but we're, we're getting we're slowly 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 getting there and also there are a lot of hoarders like big businesses that are buying out complete sets and then they hoard it from themselves and they mark up the price really high or you can only buy from them which is why it'd be like scotty how come we don't have the set it's probably because it's cheaper to just buy it from them because by the time we get it and then try to put it on the store it's like going to be more or less we make nothing man and that has happened a lot of times when we do some orders we sometimes we just break even or get nothing we get minus which is coming down to the top We're number one right now let's do number one yeah let's finish this video off so number one top thing i love about the store and that is becoming a business for what it is now we're actually really growing i remember when the store was like maybe two people a week we we're like yes we got two people on the store yeah we can track everything man i know what you're putting in your cart and abandoning and checking out our prices no seriously though it was like two or three people a week and we we're like cool and then we won one person would order oh great we got an order yes now we're about maybe 300 times that yeah that's right we're getting like crazy amount of people going on the store and a lot of orders coming in trying our best to keep up with that but i love it and what does that mean for us if we can grow this into a business if this lasts for another couple of years this can just be my career from now on bringing you guys more videos people buying from our store and it's like a win-win we're all happy and i think that's actually really really awesome and i hope that keeps up if not that means i have to go back to my filming jobs that means no videos for you guys and we'll probably just close up the business if we have to and that brings us down to the number one thing i don't like about the store and that is shipping my goodness shipping sucks balls i'll say it right now that's the hardest thing to deal with so unlike amazon we're not amazon i have to remind you guys or bigger companies out there that are like oh we include the shipping why don't you include the shipping it's just easier i just want to click check out and just get it we got to make it personal because we want to make sure we get the best option for you. There's several ways to ship an item to you. So you might say, oh, well, you know, this is going to be like way more expensive. Just ask us if we have any other options because we sometimes we do. Sometimes I've been splitting your sets up into smaller boxes, saving even more cost or using different ways. Or we send them out from our supplier by the factory, which is the same as other sellers. And it tends to get to you faster and cheaper. If you're going to pick the cheapest shipping, it's going to take you some time. There's a lot of emails asking us, where's the tracking number? Where's our item? It's taking so long. If you chose the cheapest shipping, man, it's going to take some time. If you're choosing premium, some of our orders have gotten to you guys like within a week because you're paying for it. That's something we don't control. That's the other thing too that really, really sucks is that the virus is really affecting us. And I think I'm going to speak for all the sellers out there and be truthful that everything is being backed up. The logistic companies in China are completely hell right now. That's right. We send an order out. There have been some orders that halfway through being sent, when they go through different checkpoints, we suddenly get surcharged. We get charged even more or double. And we're paying that. And that means we're making nothing because we want to make sure you guys get the sets and i also know that there are some countries that are really really strict because it's like it's not lego it's considered a, a knockoff so you know we try our best to sell original brands but even if it's oxford there have been instances where sets have been detained in customs we can't control customs we can't control what goes through in your country that is not our side but there are ways around that like you know maybe if your country doesn't like minifigures don't send the minifigures or you don't want us to send the books send a pdf talk to us first but majority of you are getting sets just fine 
So that's really, really good. And, you know, we try to work our way best with you personally. So that's more of a one on one thing. So that's the good thing, too. It's a good and bad thing. But shipping because of the virus right now absolutely sucks. And we've had some sets come back to us and we have to resend it again. Sometimes it have been three times that it come back and forth. And this is stuff we can't battle. I wish I can give you guys cheap. I wish I can ship things for free for you guys. I uh, guess yeah, the other thing too. Sometimes you're, you get duty tax or you get tax on that side. Like, oh, why is I had to pay this now when I go to the post office? Dude, that's your country, not mine, man. We're just trying our best to get you the sets. But that is why if you do find something cheaper somewhere else or you have a reliable seller, but you still want to support me, just support the channel, man. Just watch our channel. Okay, well, that was fun. That was your top five things I love and hate about the store. You know, it's all in all, it has to have a balance of good and evil to be able to maintain everything, right? It's normal, perfectly normal. It's a lot of fun. What a journey this has been. So a bonus thing for you guys that have been actually watching this video up until now, a lot of you have been asking about these sets that have been like stolen designs and you don't see them on the store. I try not to publicly list them or sell them because I respect the designers, buy their manuals if you can. and then do whatever you want, right? So in the description of this video, there will be a link that I'm gonna put there just for you. It's a new review, it will be unlisted. It cannot be monetized, it cannot be searched. And I will remove that after this video. So if you don't see a link right now, you will be like, where's the link? You gotta look around, look in my comments and ask people and you'll see what that is. So that's just for you guys for have been supporting, that have been supporting my channel. So thank you so much for watching and it's time to get to more reviews, all right? So until next time, break me out, drop this on the sucker. No! My poor dinosaur. Actually, I was just about to pack up and leave the office, but one more thing did arrive and I have the box here. So I'll show it to you guys real fast. Oh, oh no. I sure hope you're not stolen. Please, someone's gonna tell me that it's stolen. I just don't care. If the designer's out there, I'll buy your design and support you. But this is the corner post office from mold port corner corner post office from mold king i'm gonna go home and build it now and all the other ones too there's like 10 more that are have arrived or coming in the shop i'm scared man i'm scared there you go nice box huh really big Ooh, okay gotta go